What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing a ranking of the best point guards in NBA 2K21, my team. So lads, what we are going to be doing in this, we're going to be obviously ranking the top 10, and there are so many good point guards. Like, it is ludicrous how many good point guards there are. So we're going to have a top 10, and then I'm going to have two that I would... That will be in my top 10 and will be in certain people's top 10s, but they very much are play style dependent cards. Like I reckon we have all of the top 10 can be used, I think, by multiple different play styles. But there are two cards that are supremely flawed, but in their own way could be like top three, top four point guards in the game if used in the right hands. And you saw one of these dudes be, definitely be around in a lot of 250 squads. And then there were other 250 squads where he would be, wouldn't be would even be um, in the top 100 players for certain guys. So, guys, as of right now, that are not on the list. Tony Parker does did not make my top 10. Fred Van Vliet didn't make it. Fred Brown did not make the top 10. Russell Westbrook did not make the top 10. Baron Davis didn't make it. Um, also... Steve Francis, Jameer Nelson, John Stockton, Colin Sexton was like, he was the toughest one to leave out. So it's very, very close to putting him in. Magic Johnson, even Steph Curry didn't make my top 10. But yeah, so that just kind of shows. But before we get on to it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We're trying to 235k subs by the end of March. Like that's kind of a reasonable goal. Because again, we're at around four or 5,000 subscribers a month. If we can get, again, 5,000 subscribers next month, that would be absolutely absolutely insane but um yeah so we're gonna talk about two guys first and these guys right here are i would have them high on my list but I, I don't know where i can put them i don't know where to objectively put them because we got a lot of guys that do very similar things but these guys are like like some people like to zig these two cards is just just zagging first up is bonga bonga is my preference of the two of these guys and you can kind of guess who the other guy is because he's a similar level player to Bonga or a similar type of player to Bonga. But Bonga's got like 90 speed, uh, just really nice defense. That's really good animations. I really like his release. He can curry slide. He can get basically every badge in the game, but you can only apply three to him. He can shoot the ball well, in my opinion. He's got he's an elite dunker, six eight with a seven foot wingspan. I think with that height, he can be he's so so effective. There's a reason why, especially um, like even at non badge. The reason why so many like budget squads use this guy because the guy is absolutely fantastic. He is absolutely fantastic. And another player is Ben Simmons. So Ben Simmons, I'm just gonna say it right now. Like for some people, Ben Simmons is number one, and for other people, he's number 35. I get all depends on your play style. And the big thing with Simmons is that it's 55 three ball. Like he's got like half showtime, like no shooting badges, but he can hit middies. He's got like half quick for step, hop intimidator. His defense is one of the best, some of the best in the game. Seven foot tall, or seven foot wingspan, six foot ten. He's got um again, Ben Simmons release, all the dunk packages. He just moves different. Like Ben Simmons is he's tough. He's tough. Like again, you see him in splashes. You'll see him in splashes 250k squad potentially for the final. You're seeing him in a, you saw him in a lot of 250k squads. It's a weird one. Like he's he was in a lot of 250k squads, and other guys would never even consider using Ben Simmons for their squad. So that's the reason why it's hard to rank him. Because for certain people, Ben Simmons is number one. And for other people, again, he's not even on the list. So it's he's such a hard player to rank that I'm just not I'm just not gonna put him in because I know that there'll be complaints wherever I put Simmons. Because if you are someone who relies on three-point shooting, which I am, you're gonna really, really struggle with Ben Simmons. But then if you're someone who just runs to the basket and dunks and everybody, Ben Simmons is literally the best in the game for that. Um for me, I think Ben Simmons, I prefer Bonga, but that's only, that's a preference. Ben Simmons is so hard to rank that he's not on this list. But again, if you want to put him at number one, I'm not going to argue. Or if you don't believe he belongs even to be mentioned in this video, I'm not going to argue that either. So number 10, we got Dame. Dame Lillard. He is the card to, for collecting 2,000 cards. You could argue he was the number one point guard in the game when he came out at the very start of season four. So he's 6'2 with a 6'7 wingspan. I really like his release. Some people don't like it. I really like his release. He's got the Pro 3 um, behind the back, or sorry, size up, which I like. Again, a lot of people don't like Pro 3. I kind of do. I think it's all right on both gens. Definitely better on next and current. He's got Showtime dunks. He's got half Showtime. He can shoot the three ball really, really well. Defensively, he's, he's passable. 
But again, grew up behind the back in current gen. I don't really like him at next gen, but he's good. He's really good on current gen. And yeah, I do believe he belongs in here, but somewhere near the bottom of the list. At number nine, we have got Kyrie Irving. So Kyrie, I really like Kyrie on current gen. I don't like him at all on next gen. But like Kyrie, 97 3, 97 speed, basically perfect defensive stats, um, apart from block, half intimidator. He's got gold interceptor, half clamps, half range. Like he's basically like a completely juiced up downtown Freddie Brown. Again, the hot zone in the corner doesn't matter at all. Not the great, like again, 6'3. It's not too small to be usable, but it's not the greatest high at all. But I mean, a lot of people really like this card. He can curry, which is really good. And he's got Kyrie Irving on quick with the Kyrie Irving dribble style, it's pretty good. Again, he's got some Showtime dunks, but he doesn't get Showtime, it doesn't matter, he's a 75 dunk, like, um, I like him as a three-point hunting player. I don't like his release on next gen, but his release on quick is pretty all right on current gen. But yeah, he is a, definitely, I think, an upgrade on um, Dame Lillard, and he, is he better, he's way better than Fred Brown, but if you have Fred Brown, you're basically getting the exact same player, and he's, well, free. So, Kyrie though, really, really good. Then we have got Smush Parker Amethyst. Hear me out on this one. This guy is a god. Like, I get it. I don't think there's there's not very much to separate these three. But for me, on current gen, I think I would take. I think Smush would be would probably be the third best of these three on current gen. But on next gen, Smush is so much better than Dame Lillard and Kyrie Irving that it's not in my opinion that it's not even close. For me, Smush is so much better on next gen that I'm gonna have to put Smush ahead. Even though I do believe he's probably the worst of the three in him on current gen. But like Smush, 93 ball, 94 speed, 90 lateral quickness, 90 driving dunk, 94 speed with ball. Like if you're looking at stats wise, 2755, Dame Lillard, 2728. Like he's literally better stats wise. He has more stats than, than Dame Lillard. Yes, Kyrie's better stats wise, but Kyrie's release. Um, is awful on next gen. It's not even anywhere close to the release of uh, Smush Parker, which is Trey Burke on Quick, which is one of the best releases in the game. You've also got better dribble sigs on Smush Parker. Uh, he's got, uh, yeah, I get it. You've got half range on Dame Lillard, but still, he's got every badge you basically need gold. So, man, I love this guy. 51 total badges. Like, even if you're looking at Dame, Dame's only, well, Dame's out here with like, whatever, 52. So, yeah, he's got the 18 extra half badges. I don't care. I think Smush is better. And on next gen, it's not even. Man, it's not. E they're not even the same ballpark on next gen. Smush is the best by a country mile with that. Um, with that. Um, Trey tra Burke base and the Curry slide. Like Smush is still my starting point guard, and he still carry. He carries me. He carries me. I've gotten a couple of very very quick rage quits from just in unlimited against all Opal teams, from just people being unable to deal with this Smush Parker card. Okay, so. Then we got Oscar Robertson in here at number seven. This card is supremely underrated. This guy, we saw him a good few times being ran in 250k. Kind of some earlier around teams, but he's got so much going for me. 6'5, 6'8 wingspan. The only problem Big O is release, and it's not slow, it just looks awkward. It's not that slow, especially on quick. He can curry, he's got one an unbelievable behind the back. One problem on current gen, some people say it's steady. I used them a bit, didn't notice it. But look, he's got 14 half badges. Every badge he needs on gold. He can you can give him post-spin technician so we can be post-spinning the Baron Davis of the world. He's also got, I'm pretty sure you can give him deep hooks, aren't you? Yeah, you can give him deep hooks. He's got a 93 ball, 93 speed. He's also got... 85 driving dunk, 90 lateral quickness, which is a lead, good speed with ball. And again, there is nothing wrong with this card. He's got good enough height to be more than usual as well. He shoots it well. Again, the only reason I, this guy is not in my squad is because I don't think he's enough better than Smush Parker. And I also have Don Ole and Felipe Lopez. So there's just no point to me having 50k tied in Oscar Robertson. But I mean, he's good. He's still so, so good. Number six, we got Gary Payton. I'm expecting um, Ty Debo to be going crazy at this selection, but hear me out. He's probably number in the conversation for top three or four on current gen. He is not very good on next gen. I I don't mind John Wall release. 
he his dunking's pretty decent, but again, like, you, first of all, you have to give him range. You have to give him showtime. So you have to give him very expensive badges to be that usable. Yeah, he's a lead on defense, but the half clamps doesn't mean as much on next gen as it does on current gen. He's got a 37 block, which is not ideal. But again, 99 ladder quicks is, is exceptional. Three point rating's pretty good. Speed's really good. His driving dunk is meh. And again, showtime dunks literally, showtime dunks do not matter on uh, next gen as well. But on current gen, obviously, you have to give him the showtime. So, like, Showtime is an, such an expensive badge. Range is such an expensive badge. So, if you're on current gen, you're paying a lot to badge him out after paying the 750 tokens. And, I don't know, I think value might be a big reason why I have him down at 6 and not a little bit higher. But, again, this is my list. So, at number 6, we have got good old Gary Payton. Still exceptional, though. And if he's your point guard, you know what? You still have a good chance of winning games. At number 5, we got Jamal Murray. And this... This just shows kind of my style of playing the game because it is evident that Gary Payton is a significantly better defensive player than Jamal Murray. But Jamal Murray is a significantly better offensive player. For me, who am I go who do I feel more comfortable with going out with in my team unlimited and winning games? Either Jen, Jamal Murray. But again, I play a completely different playstyle. Who would I feel more comfortable with going out in a competitive setting? I have no idea because I don't play this game competitively. So obviously I'm looking at things from a different standpoint. But 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 96 three ball, at least 92 lateral quickness with decent length. He's got gold clamps, gold interceptor. Yeah, he could do a gold intimidator. He's also got no steady, half range extender, quick first step on gold and pluck, or sorry, on Hall of Fame, unpluckable on Hall of Fame, handle for days Hall of Fame. Again, a 95 driving dunk, which is incredible. Comes with gold showtime or posterizer. Has got basically all the Showtime dunks. He has gotten Pro 2 size up, Pro 2 escape, which is, again, Curry. Got the Pro 5 behind the back, which is awful on next gen, great current gen. He's got base 80, which is pretty good. And Trey Burke Upper is one of the best uppers in the game. Base 80 is a release that I really like. It's Kobe White's release. And Kobe White is definitely a player that was in the running for that kind of last, that spot with Dame Lillard. I think I put Dame, I put Dame higher, but Kobe's very, very close to being on this list. But uh, yeah, Jamal Murray, I'm telling you, he's exceptional. He's not cheap though. Like he really isn't. And like I'm not probably not gonna go and get myself a Jamal Murray just because of, well, his price. And I don't have that much MT um, to be spending on a point guard because I got some exceptionals already. Like he's 230 guys, just get yourself smushed. But like he's, he's exceptional, he's exceptional. Number four is Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin, I just think, it's a very close, I just think he's, his, the half clamps puts him a little bit ahead of Jamal Murray, I think it's a really, really close one, 96 B, 96 acceleration, 6 5 wingspan, 6 foot 3, fantastic dunker, fantastic speed, great 3 point shooter, he can curry, base 40 on quick, unbelievable catch and shoot release, I'm not going to say it's the greatest 3 hunting release in the world, because it's not, it's really not, if you're looking to 3 hunt with him, not he's not gonna be the greatest for that but he's still gonna be more than possible but there are three better like three hunters that are ahead of him um well no nah, he's there's one better there's two better three hunters ahead of him but again fantastic fantastic uh dunk packages got gold showtime comes with half range comes with um gold clamps funnily enough he comes with gold post spin technician so you can post spin people to your heart's content he's also got flexible release on gold as well um, which is sniper on next gen, which doesn't really matter. And he's a beast on both gens. He really is. He is a beast on both gens. And I was surprised we didn't see more of him. Actually, no, I wasn't surprised because the number one and two point guards were ran on the vast majority of people's squads. Then, at number three, we had Dono. Dono and Jeremy Lin. Jeremy Lin should be better. I'm telling you that right now. Like, if you're looking at stats wise, Jeremy Lin, um, you got 2814 for Dono. You got 3001. Like, Jeremy Lin should be better stats-wise, but I've, I've used them both. I prefer Don O. I think it's just the D-Rose base on quick. Like, Rudy Upper is the best upper in the game. It's the upper that the vast majority of people use in Pro-Am. It, well, definitely did, did on current gen. It, it's the best upper in the game. He's also got Derrick Rose base, which I like it on quick. I hate it on normal. I like it on quick. He's got the Curry slide. Again, very similar dunk packages. Pro 6 behind the back, which again is better on current gen. Not great on next. He's got gold showtime, half range extender, half flexible, 
He's got a half quick first step, half unpluckable. Gold hands raise, which is fine. Like, you, you don't need that much more than gold. Well, you can only get Hall of Fame, but you don't... Like, it's fine on gold. He's got Clamps, Hall of Fame, Heart Crusher, Intimidator, Pickpocket, Pick Dodger, Gold Interceptor. Yeah, he's not going to be post-spinning people like Jeremy Lin, but... I mean, 96 lateral, 95 driving, 94 three ball, 98 speed. Like, he, he definitely belongs top three. And I think he's definitely a step... A, quite a big step above a Jamal Murray or a Gary Payton, in my opinion. And he's got the quick dribble style as well. Then at number two, we got Lonzo Ball. Lonzo Ball is like... Imagine imagine somewhere in between like a Simmons slash Bonga and like a Peyton as well as like a shooter. And he goes a gold range extender. Yeah, he doesn't have the all the shooting badges. But he's got that elite speed. He's got an elite wingspan of 6'9", 6'6". His release is money. He had the great behind the back on current gen. Awful on next gen. He's got a great size up on next gen. And I don't know, Lonzo is just... He's, he might be the best defensive point guard in the game. Not named Ben Simmons. Half quick first step, half unpluckable. He's got half clamps, half intimidator, half pickpocket, half tireless defender, half interceptor. He's got so many things going for him. The card is absolutely, absolutely spectacular, lads. In my opinion, the number two, without question, point guard in the game. And at number one, and I don't think anyone... Anyone's going to argue that Luka Doncic is the best point guard in the game. Doesn't matter what your play style is, Luka Doncic is the best point guard in the game. He's 6'7", so he's got the height. He's got a 95 speed, 95 three ball, 90 free throw. He's got a 90 dunk. He's got half showtime. He's got half range extender. Half quick first step. 94 lateral quickness. Yeah, he's going to get gold clamps, but he's still got half intimidator. His tendencies are juiced. He's got the Pro 2 size up. He's got X on base, which is the best release in the game, in my opinion. He's got the Pro 1 behind the back, which is elite. Obviously, a bunch of Showtime dunks. Like, Ty obviously had more success with Lonzo, but he's more comfortable with Lonzo, but I don't think anyone... Do not think anyone in existence will say that Luka Doncic, whether it's this Luka Doncic, the one with the pink eyes, or the other Luka Doncic did the same card. I don't think anyone in existence will argue that this Luke, that Luka Doncic does not belong as the number one point guard in my team. So, we have a bunch of honorable mentions. Two guys that I honestly didn't know how to rate, so I didn't put them on the list, in Bonga and Simmons. Then, at number 10, Dame. Number 9, Kyrie. Number 8, Smush. Number 7, Big O. Number 6, Peyton. Five, Jamal Murray. Four, Jeremy Lin. Three, Donald. Two, Lonzo. And one, Luka Doncic. So anyway, yeah, lads, that is it. So anyway, that's pretty much it. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.